everyone. So I am Isabel Strahan and I wanted to introduce myself and kind of give a walkthrough of what has been going on with me and everything like that and who I am. And so it's difficult because this is Tuesday when I'm filming this, but I just had this before I have come out that I shot in May 2023. So it's like super exciting, but I remember being so excited to go to the store and take a photo, like a selfie with it. And I can't do that right now because no one knows what I'm going through. And I don't really feel like myself or that person in the ad. So I don't want to take a photo with it. But the background of what's been going on these past two months. Um, it's been rough, it's been challenging, it's been very hard, but I know I'll get through it and I know time will heal and things will get back to being, I can't really say normal because there's not really, really a normal now in my life, but things will get back to being calmer. I'll use that word. I guess I'll start off with some background on how I feel and going to college um, I was there moved in August 16th moving to college is great to be fair I love my roommates they're the best I love meeting new people um, I signed with an agency in LA which is great and I loved modeling out there I mm. felt great moving there you know, just August I felt perfectly normal the end of September I had headaches not like headaches I was dizzy the biggest one was I couldn't walk in a straight line. I just, every time I was walking, I just could not walk in a straight line. So I, that's why I thought I had vertigo. And then I would also wake up very nauseous and like have to throw up most days, which wasn't really normal for me. And I just thought that was from the dizziness because I'd wake up really dizzy. That all started and I can't remember if I was like nauseous in the mornings of the end of September, but I, October 1st, I know I was. I traveled to New York, I think, that, or like that day or something. And I know I was sick then because I was getting an Uber to go to um, a test shoot and I like had to cancel it because I was so nauseous and I was thrown up. And that was like, definitely knew something was wrong because that's never happened to me. That was the start of October. And it just kind of progressed to getting worse and worse. I feel fine at night in the afternoon. I would sort of waking up later though, because I didn't feel good in the mornings. And I just dreaded waking up because I knew I was going to have to throw up and it just wasn't really fun. Um, and so I thought I had uh, vertigo for the longest time. So I went to the ear, nose, throat doctor because I, I did think I was having dizzy problems, but they said it was an inner, from an inner ear infection. And I kind of knew right away that it wasn't the solution, but I knew it was definitely more than that because it didn't really explain the throwing up every day or a lot of that stuff. But then again, you never know. And that was two weeks, I'd say, a little over two weeks before I checked into the hospital um, from my MRI and stuff that I'll get into with some people who help me explain because I have some some gaps in there and I don't remember everything perfectly. Okay. So Isabel is moving into her new room for her birthday. Here's her sister, Sophia. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sophia. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. on her birthday. The people who kind of helped me along the whole journey. Um, my family, Sophia, Kayla, Dad. And of course, my mom's not here, but she helped me in the hospital a lot and my family who flew in. So it's like a whole effort to getting it better, which is super sweet to see how much people care. And I think that was a big thing. You, a big thing that like put into perspective for me was just kind of 
how insufficient like the little things are in life like you can't be mad over something you can't really control that but you can really like learn how to be positive be nice to people because that makes the biggest impact and i think it's just I, I don't know it's just so nice to see people getting along and just i don't know that's the biggest thing just time is and love and that's like the biggest thing yeah and so i'll have my my guests come in and talk about my hospital stay and everything and my roommates shout out to my roommates because they drove me to the hospital multiple times i love them they're great shout out to everyone who came and visited me in the hospital even if i wasn't awake or i didn't know you came i really appreciated it and i just i don't know i just hope anyone who sees this um knows that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and that things will get better because i I just, every day is another day closer to getting better and closer to feeling better. And progress takes a lot of time. So I'm curious. Can I get um, strawberry ice cream after this? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but it just takes time. I'm trying to see the positive things in that. And getting back to school, I don't know, you just kind of have to, it's a whole time process. And you just have to think positively. So I am going through the same thing. Think positive and things will get better. And we'll end with that. And yeah, I'll add this. Oh, that's my glass. It's holding my phone. Okay, I'll wait. Bye.